Hey you guys, it's Britt tonight. I'm here with a little bit of a question. Like I have a question. I hope that y'all can maybe enlighten me in the comments down below, but I want to talk about a little bit of a part two to my Nikocado avocado update that I posted a little while ago. So yeah, we're going to have a little chat. If you're interested, please keep watching. All right, you guys, so tonight I wanna to talk for a couple of minutes about this whole idea that Nikocado Avocado was always two steps ahead. Obviously, two steps ahead was the title of his recent video. There have been old videos that have um, been circulating again, talking about two steps ahead. He put out a TikTok, which I will drop in, talking about he's two steps ahead. He's always two steps ahead. Two steps ahead. I am always two steps ahead this has been the greatest social experiment of my entire life it's gripping to observe all these unwell disoriented beings roam the internet in search of stories thirsty for a distraction from time unspent spoiling their minds yet stimulating them at the same time. It's brilliant and it's dangerous. I feel as if I'm monitoring ants on an ant farm. All these little consumers, all of these lost and bored people, people consuming anything that they're told to consume. So I am the villain because I've made myself one and you will continue to consume these stories about me year after year after year for as long as I tell the internet that I am the villain two steps ahead I'm always two steps ahead My question is, what was he two steps ahead on? Because if, if the two steps ahead is simply him making a YouTube channel, intaking a really, really high amount of calories, gaining a lot of weight in somewhat a short period of time, and then using a backlog of videos to trick people into thinking that he wasn't behind the scenes losing weight. I don't really understand how that's so groundbreaking and correct me if I'm wrong down below. I said, I think it's great for him. He obviously needed to go on a fitness journey. He needed to go on a weight loss journey. It was um, not going to be good for him long term if he continued on the path that he was. But is the 
two steps ahead. You know, I was doing this behind the scenes and now I'm back and, you know, everyone is shocked. Is the two steps ahead saying, I did this social experiment where people were really vile and cruel and said really mean things about me. And then I came back to prove them wrong. What is the two steps ahead? I I don't really understand like what he's getting at. And that's why I'm coming to y'all for clarification and maybe to have a little bit of a conversation about. I realize the gravity of the situation and I realize that this will go down in YouTube history, social media history. But what is the two steps ahead on? What is the big aha moment? Because we know that people body shame and, uh, you know, pick apart the way that someone looks and pick apart how many calories you're eating, how many, um, maybe how many uh, calories you're not taking in every day. We know that all of that exists. So what is the aha moment? Because while I fully credit him for obviously doing a lot of work and getting himself back to what I guess at a surface level, my non-medical opinion, he looks healthy. I don't know what's going on inside. I'm obviously not a doctor, but I just kind of found myself today coming across his TikToks and listening to other people give their opinions. And I'm a little confused. I have mixed feelings about like, yeah, that's crazy, but what is the aha? What is the, oh, that's the two steps ahead. Because we knew that, you know, vile people exist online and they will say really egregious and nasty things. Um, so is the aha the fact that he was dropping 250 pounds and had this catalog of content? But either way, I had the longest Monday in history, so I wanted to drop this really quick. I will have a longer form video coming tomorrow, um, and I'm gonna try to make it a double upload day, but today took it out of me. I am so done with Monday. I hate Mondays in general, but either way, tell me how y'all feel about this down below. So for now, if you like the video, please leave a like and a comment. And if you'd like to see more from me in the future, please subscribe. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.